In recent months, the global tech industry has been watching with growing tension what is happening around NVIDIA, a company that until recently seemed like an unshakable giant, the absolute leader of the artificial intelligence race, the world's market cap champion, and the primary supplier of compute power for all major AI systems on the planet. Its chips provide up to 80% of the global accelerator market. They are the foundation on which OpenAI, Google DeepMind, Meta, Tesla, and hundreds of other companies build their innovations. Until recently, it appeared that NVIDIA's position was so strong that no competitor, neither AMD nor Intel, nor even the huge cloud providers developing their own chips, could threaten it. But the situation has changed, and it is changing rapidly. More and more analysts call what is happening the first real stress test for NVIDIA in the past decade. According to Financial Times, several hardware companies have begun aggressively capturing market share in the inference and cloud AI compute segment, where NVIDIA previously dominated almost without competition. Reports from the information mention that Google has sharply increased production of its fourth and fifth generation TPUs, Amazon is scaling Inferentia and Tranium, and Microsoft is conducting secret development of its own Athena Accelerator, which sources say could become the most serious challenge to NVIDIA since the advent of the Volta architecture. At the same time, AMD introduced the MI400 lineup, and several engineers involved in early testing claim it outperforms NVIDIA's solutions in energy efficiency by 20 to 30 percent. All of this is unfolding amid unprecedented demand for AI compute, whose growth already exceeds the capacity of many data centers. In this turbulence, NVIDIA still maintains dominance, but for the first time in years, there is a real threat that the company's leadership may begin to erode. This is why in recent weeks, major analytical agencies have noted an unusual silence surrounding NVIDIA's headquarters in Santa Clara. The company's leadership has stopped publicly discussing next-generation chip plans, and traditional technical briefings have suddenly been cancelled or postponed. According to industry insiders, this is not a coincidence, but part of a strict information control strategy. Sources familiar with the situation say NVIDIA is now working on a project that insiders call the most risky and most ambitious in the company's history. Several journalists from Reuters and Nikkei have confirmed that in recent months, separate closed working groups have appeared inside the company's engineering divisions, with access restricted even for high-level employees. Officially, these groups are developing a new generation of compute accelerators, but people directly involved say the real focus is something far more expansive. According to a source from the information who requested anonymity, NVIDIA has begun creating a fundamentally new generation of chips that leapfrog current architectures by several generations. Inside the company, this is called a deep transition, an attempt to build a compute module capable of such a colossal jump in performance that today's GPUs would seem outdated by comparison. And this is where rumors emerge that until recently sounded like science fiction. According to several insiders from the supplier ecosystem, NVIDIA's new architecture may use principles inspired by nuclear technologies. This does not involve radioactive materials or nuclear reactions. That is important to stress. But specialists close to Silicon Valley startups claim that NVIDIA is studying methods of energy distribution and thermal balancing, similar to those used in cooling systems of high-energy installations. Such an approach could allow chips to reach entirely new levels of compute density. One of the engineers who previously worked at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory and took part in testing supercomputers for modeling complex physical processes told Nikkei journalists that NVIDIA's concept is by its logic closer to a miniature thermal energy system than to a classic GPU. These words became the starting point for rumors about nuclear chips, although in reality, it is an attempt to create a revolutionary heat dissipation and energy distribution system capable of withstanding loads that are considered impossible for commercial systems today. Moreover, several leaks published by the reputable tech blogger Jordan Pierce and the Semi-Analysis Research Group claim that NVIDIA's new chip is designed exclusively to accelerate the training of large neural networks. Not inference, not cloud services, but training the most demanding and energy-intensive part of the AI industry.
If this information is confirmed, the technologies in question could make it possible to train models like GPT-7, Gemini Ultra, or Llama 5, not in months, but in weeks or even days. Analysts are already calling this a potential second birth of the industry. And here arises the key question that is stirring the market. Why is NVIDIA accelerating development so aggressively? The answer is simple. Competition. For the first time in many years, the company has felt pressure from several sides simultaneously. Google, Amazon, and Microsoft no longer want to depend on an external chip supplier, and each of these corporations is investing billions in its own accelerators. Startups funded by Silicon Valley Venture Capital are creating highly specialized chips that are cheaper and more efficient for specific tasks. Major university research centers have begun developing open architectures with zero dependence on CUDA. The market is changing, and NVIDIA understands that to stay at the top, it needs a breakthrough similar to what the Volta architecture once achieved. That is why the company appears to be preparing not just an update, but a revolution. And although NVIDIA's official representatives refuse to comment on the rumors, referring journalists to statements that the company continues to invest in innovation, an increasing number of leaks indicate that inside the corporation a device is indeed being developed that could change the landscape of the AI industry. If in the coming years NVIDIA manages to create a chip capable of training AI far faster than today's solutions, it will trigger a new wave of global competition, a race of a scale the world has never seen. And this is no longer just competition between companies, but between states, economies, and entire technological ecosystems. The AI revolution is only beginning, and right now it is being decided who will become its architect. NVIDIA has been a leader once before. Whether it becomes one again depends on how real the rumors are about what is happening inside its closed laboratories. One thing is clear, the world is holding its breath. This explains why the company is now being so secretive. Even for NVIDIA, which for decades has been a leader in graphics and compute technologies, this project is too large, too important and too risky for premature leaks. Behind the scenes at tech conferences, there is already discussion that the new chip may become the very trigger that launches a second wave of the AI revolution, far more massive than the one that began with GPT-4 and H100. If NVIDIA is indeed preparing this technology, the level of control over AI, the speed of training and the capabilities of modeling will sharply increase. And most importantly, it will return to NVIDIA, the status of the company that sets the pace for the entire industry. The world is entering a phase where compute power becomes the new currency of global influence. And this is why there are so many secrets, hints, and sleepless nights among its competitors surrounding NVIDIA's upcoming chip today.